hi everyone in this video i will show you how to modify your config.plist for your open core bootloader if you haven't seen my other video in which i will explain how to create your how to create your bootable usb and collecting the kext and drivers and creating ssdt and also i have explained how to know your processor and igp informations along with your motherboard audio chipset and internet chipset in your computer which you will use to collect the kext if you haven't watched that video go ahead and watch the video before this if you have already watched or know what is config.plist in a open core you can go ahead and proceed with this video okay let's go back to our browser and open up the open core install guide in this i am using an iv bridge processor so i am going to click on iv bridge when you scroll down you can see these three links in the first link this is a software to open the config.plist and uh, edit the config.plist according to our system configuration and second is the gen smbios which will generate smbios data for our machine i am going to download all these i have downloaded the gen smbios and property and I am going to copy it to my desktop and I am going to extract to its own folder. We are going to use property to open the config.plist file. We are going to run this uh, property. Just double click on it. It will automatically install python if you don't have a uh, python. Other than that it will uh, open this file. Once that is done we can go back to our uh, open core install guide and see what are the things we need to add as you can see here i didn't add sdt hyphen imea we can go ahead and add the sdt dot imea because i'm using a six series motherboard with an iv bridge processor so we can go back to the open core folder which we have downloaded from the open core github repository inside that and go to the doc apci samples and here we can find gt.imai.dsl but we need an aml file so uh, to compile that just copy this and open ssdt times master which we have downloaded from uh, ssdt times repository in that uh, go to scripts folder and paste it here once this is done go to the address bar and type cmd and hit enter it will open the command prompt on the uh, on this path and then click on iasl.exe and copy path right click to paste it and click on sstt amei.asl copy its path give a space and right click to paste it and hit enter it will compile and uh, generate an aml file on the same folder then copy this aml file to our boot disk afi oc and apci folder paste it once that is done close the apci folder on this command prompt window and we can head back to the property uh, click on file open and open the boot disk partition and click on efi oc and click config.plist and uh, click open once that is done go to file and click on oc snapshot uh, it will generate the necessary lines for our text and uh, do some modification which will make our process of configuration to be easy click on oc snapshot and select the oc folder it will automatically change something in the config.plist then uh, we can delete this warnings by hitting the delete button in your keyboard we can uh, keep this window to this side and open the open core installation guide we can keep it in the left don't worry about the ssdt hyphen pm because when we boot into mac os we can generate by using ssdt pr gen dot sh from the piker alpha repository let's go up and edit config.plist from this screenshot uh, we need to enable these uh, ssdt's don't worry about this ssdt plug if our system uh, doesn't work we can change the ssdt's but uh, according to this uh, below table we need ssdt ec and uh, ssdt imea which is necessary the screenshot is res just for reference after we are done with uh, acpi tab i am going to minimize the acpi then we are going to the booter tab in booter tab we need to change some quicks avoid runtime defrag Avoid runtime defect true. Enable write protect. Enable write protect. Tab visual map it is true. Just uh, we can take a look at the screenshot. Okay, everything seems fine here. 
let's go to the device properties in device properties we need to add a child under add click on that copy this paste it there change this to dictionary I right click on it and add a new child under it in that copy this aapl igpu platform id paste it here this is a data type then we can copy this you can skip this uh, if you have an uh, external gpu but for uh, fixing the drm we need to add this platform id since i am using a 6 series motherboard i need to add a device id so uh, copy this and create a new child paste it change it to dictionary data type and create a new child and uh, copy this is of data uh, data data type and copy the value and paste it there once that is done we can go back to the layout id we can use apple alc supported codec in acid anthra repository earlier we found that our uh, alc id is alc662 so i am searching for that i am going to copy this layout id because uh, i have tried it and found this one works in trial and error method so i am going to paste it and hit enter you can uh, try this one if this uh, doesn't work for you you can uh, go with this in boot talks we need to add a layout id for me the 16 and 17 layout id works fine for me you need to experiment on your motherboard to find the exact layout id on the layout once this is done you can uh, minimize this device properties in kernel we need to enable apple cpu pm cfg log go to quicks here it is enable apple cpu pm cfg log pm enable this disable io mapper disable io mapper true when you did something wrong you can press ctrl z to revert back true then this is done this is done lapic kernel panic true or oh, false sorry my bad see uh, they have listed that uh, hp missions will require this quick if you have any hp mission you need to enable this kicks panic no kicks dump true power timeout guys true xhci port limit true and once this is done i am going to minimize this kernel tab in music you need to enable apple, apple debug and uh, apple panic after that uh, change the target to 67 value can policy is zero and the vault is optional after you are done with it uh, scroll down and check for uh, any other changes we need to disable watchdog enable this we have changed the target and other things after this is done i am going to minimize the music oops in security section we need to allow nvram research allow set default vault and scan policy is already done in tools thing in tools once the music is done i'm going to minimize it down here we have nvram zero on for standard resolution so i'm going to leave it as one black is okay for me i'm going to uh, leave it as zero 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 under this we don't need this child we are going to delete it under here we don't need this we are going to delete it in boot args hyphen v for verbose mode keep sys this one is for a system integrity and uh, for our debug logs we need to add this string and also uh, for audio i am going to add alc id i have found my apple alc id so i am going to add that if you don't know your apple alc id you need to try in the trial and error method no other easy way to find the alc id if you are using an intel hd graphics for 4000 and don't have any gpu you need to add this string we know actually this is whatever green no egpu external gpu string just copy it and paste it here but but i am using an uh, gt710 so i am not going to use that if you are using an uh, igpu use that string to make your igpu work i am going to hit enter uh, that's done for your keyboard just copy this value and paste it for us english which you can change it later and you can uh, find the other uh, layout in this link i am going to skip this uh, platform info because we have a, a gen SMBOS which will automatically generate uh, the platform variables if you are not using this uh, gen SMBOS if you have a graphics card change it to uh, imac 13.2 if you don't change it to 13.1 13.1 will automatically boot into your uh, 
i gpu i am going to use 13.2 anyway i am going to generate this smbas by using smb gen smbas in uefi we need to change the driver the first one should be hfs plus then open core runtime other than that everything is, seems good in cricks ignore invalid flex ratio is true unblock fs connect is true i'm going to enable this once this is done uh, you have successfully configured your uh, config.plist and then you now we can uh, save this and we can clean our oc snapshot just click on file oc clean snapshot it will again show the uh, folder click on oc and click select folder once that is done everything is uh, good and we can proceed with our uh, usb to boot our uh, mac os let's save it and close the property and please note that you need to uh, configure your bias according to this if you don't have any uh, any settings in, uh, listed in this just don't panic for me uh, when i disable uh, csm the system doesn't boot so i uh, keep the csm enabled and i also turned off the fast boot secured boot serial com port parallel ports and uh, any other legacy ports except the usb uh, i don't uh, have any other settings rather than those legacy things and also i have a uefi in my motherboard then you need to enable these things i had enabled a hyper threading vtx and uh, change the set to ahca mode if you have the demt pre allocated igbu memory option you can give 32 okay now let's close this thing we need to uh, use smbios to generate our uh, mac serial numbers and stuff i am going to open it once this is done open the boot drive and go to oc config.plist and click one this is will update the mac serials in their database hit enter and then press two and hit enter this will ask for the config.plist just drag and drop it and hit enter then press Three generate the serial numbers. I am going to give I Mac thirteen point two and hit enter and hit enter. And then I am going to generate the UUID as four and hit enter, enter. Then this is done. I have successfully added an uh, SMBIOS to the config dot p list. Then quit it and close everything and uh, we can try to boot to open core.